6 Reasons That People Become Deficient In Vitamin B12 A long-term vitamin B12 deficiency can cause problems like anemia, where your body can't make enough healthy red blood cells, along with nerve problems, low energy, pale skin, and even depression. But the question is, why do so many people over the age of 50 rely on supplements and injections to raise their B12, even when they're already eating enough B12 rich foods, like red meat and seafood? Today, I'll be talking about the 6 things that block vitamin B12 that most people simply don't know about. This video is for educational purposes only and was made by a real human being. Always speak with your doctor if you suspect a B12 deficiency. Number 1 is Low Stomach Acid The most common cause of low B12 is having poor quality stomach acid. You see, your stomach acid should naturally be very strong with a pH between 1 to 3 so that you can digest protein and absorb vitamin B12 from your food. But as we age, our bodies tend to make less concentrated acid as the pH rises, so your digestive system struggles to break down and absorb B12, protein and iron, leaving you anemic. But drinking just 1-2 to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar in a glass of water before you eat is a natural way to strengthen your stomach acid and absorb more of that B12. The second cause is an overgrowth of a bacteria called H. pylori. H. pylori is a natural bacteria found inside the human stomach, and normally it doesn't pose any problem at all. But if your stomach acid is too low because of aging, stress, taking antacids or a high sugar diet, this bacteria can start to overgrow and burrow itself into your stomach lining where it starts forming ulcers. By damaging the cells in the stomach wall, your stomach makes less of a protein called intrinsic factor, so you don't absorb as much B12 from your food. The very best natural remedies for H. pylori are broccoli sprouts, manuka honey and zinc carnosine. If you're a person who has ulcers, you can learn more about this in my video called The 4 Foods to Heal Ulcers by Ryan Taylor. And now let's move on to something that's very interesting, a genetic mutation. Certain genes in your body help you absorb, transport and activate vitamin B12. However, what you don't know is that 40-60% to 60 of people have a variation in their genes like the MTHFR gene, which makes it harder for their bodies to activate B12 from food or supplements. Many countries are actually adding synthetic B12 called cyanocobalamin to the food supply. But if you have this common genetic mutation, this form of B12 just doesn't absorb very well at all. So a blood test may say that you have high B12 levels, but the B12 isn't active and it's not going into your cells. This is why so many people feel exhausted with pale skin and nerve problems. A very simple solution is to start using a natural B12 supplement called methylcobalamin. This form is already active, so your body and cells can begin using it right away. If you're finding this information helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe and turn all notifications on so that I can keep you updated with the latest health and nutrition tips. The fourth thing that blocks B12 is metformin. Metformin is a common diabetes drug used to lower blood sugar. Over time, metformin can change the electrical charge in your ileum, making it harder for your intestine to absorb B12, B1, folate and other important nutrients. The problem is, when you don't absorb enough active B12, your homocysteine levels can rise and this is linked with heart disease later in life. So it is a good idea to get your homocysteine levels checked yearly if you're taking diabetes medications. Many diabetics choose to take between 1000 and 5000 micrograms of methylcobalamin per day to help protect their nerves from the high insulin. Now we'll move on to SIBO. As I previously mentioned, you absorb B12 through the ileum, which is a part of your small intestine. 
But if you have an overgrowth of bad bacteria in that area where it shouldn't be, these germs can feed on and steal your B12 before you can absorb it. This is very common in people who've taken lots of antibiotics or have low stomach acid. A carnivore diet for a few months with some natural methylated B vitamin supplements usually helps to starve out the bad bacteria along with bile salts and apple cider vinegar. The sixth blocker of B12 is daily alcohol consumption. Another common reason that people have low B12 is drinking alcohol every day. You see, your liver actually stores large reserves of B12, enough for years in healthy people, but if you're drinking alcohol every day, this will slow the liver down, causing less B12 to be stored and released when your body needs it. Unfortunately, alcohol also irritates the stomach lining and it can reduce your stomach acid, even causing an increased risk of H. pylori that we talked about earlier. Despite the old rumours, alcohol has zero health benefits at all, so try to save it for those special occasions and don't make a habit of drinking it every day. And one final cause that I forgot about that I'd like to add is a plant-based diet. There's some misinformation in the vegan community that you can get B12 from plants, but B12 is actually made by bacteria found in animals as plants have absolutely no need for it. This is why you can only get active B12 from animal foods like liver, eggs, red meat, fish, etc. There are some inactive forms of B12 found in seaweed like nori, spirulina and kelp, but unfortunately your body can't use them and they can actually block you from absorbing the real B12. Many vegans also turn to nutritional yeast to get their B12, but it's usually fortified with the synthetic form which many people can't convert well. So if you are a person that's on a pure plant-based diet, make sure to include a good active methylcobalamin B12 supplement in your diet. So now that you've heard about what may be blocking you from absorbing or activating B12, Let's look at some simple strategies to raise your levels naturally. 1. Cleanse your stomach When you clear out the H. pylori, your stomach can make more intrinsic factor and acid for better B12 absorption. Consume raw manuka honey daily with a unique manuka factor of 15 plus or a methyl glyoxal of 300 plus. These are natural antimicrobials. Broccoli sprouts and broccoli microgreens have also been shown to help neutralise this bacteria, along with raw cloves of garlic which contain allicin. You can also use cabbage juice and zinc L-carnosine to help repair damage to the stomach lining as well. 2. Strengthen your stomach acid Now, once you've cleared up any ulcers and you've addressed any H. pylori overgrowth, you can begin strengthening your stomach acid back to its normal pH of 1 to 3. You can mix 2 tablespoons of apple cider vinegar into 2 cups of water before a meal. Or you can use betaine hydrochloride capsules, although these are a very small dose so you will need to take a lot of them. Ginger, sauerkraut and bitter greens can also improve the quality of your stomach acid so that you can digest and absorb more B12 from your other foods. 3. Eat B12 rich foods Start eating the foods that are richest in B12, especially liver, organ meats, beef, lamb, clams, mussels, oysters, salmon and sardines. You can also get small amounts from an algae called Chlorella vulgaris, but it really isn't absorbed very well. I would also suggest eating some avocados, broccoli, sunflower seeds, pistachios and other leafy greens to get more B6 and B9, which works with the B12 in your body to build red blood cells. 4. Supplements Sublingual methylcobalamin supplements between 1 to 3,000 micrograms can be used to absorb B12 directly into the bloodstream. In rare cases like pernicious anemia or severe gut damage, quarterly injections of hydroxocobalamin may also be needed. Just make sure to stay away from cheap cyanocobalamin supplements, which are actually chemically made from cyanide. 5. Test the right markers 
don't rely on serum B12 blood tests because they don't measure the active B12 in your body. Instead, ask for a methyl malonic acid and a homocysteine test to see if the B12 is truly active in your cells. 6. Clean up your diet. Drink alcohol sparingly if you have problems with B12, only on special occasions. Try to stay away from refined sugar and processed foods and make sure you're drinking between 2 to 2.5 two litres of water every day. Remember, B12 is water soluble, so it needs lots of water to be delivered. 7. Restore your gut balance. If you have gut problems, consider using a carnivore diet for 1-3 to three months to help correct the problem and perhaps even some purified ox bile supplements which can help to clear up SIBO. Wild oregano oil capsules and berberine are also wonderful herbs for restoring the balance to your gut bacteria, helping you absorb B12 properly in the ileum from both your food and your supplements. Following the advice that I've outlined in this video will help you to restore your B12 levels naturally. I'm Ryan, a nutritionist from the UK and this is my wife Hannah. If you'd like a bit more information on the common vitamin B12 mistakes that I often see people making, watch the video that I've put on the screen now. Thank you so much again for watching this video and I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.